So, still on DIY, kayaknya bagi banyak topik DIY ini, tapi kali ini specifically for cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. Nah, aku penasaran, ini apa sih yang dikerjakan di sini? So, let's watch together. Sometimes we need to give our skin a little rest from all the different products we use. Ooh, ooh. There's nothing like going back to the basics and going all natural. So today I'm going to share a simple three-step skincare routine using only natural ingredients. So of course, okay. the first step in any skincare routine is cleansing the skin. A simple cleanser that works for all skin types is plain oats. The oats will not only cleanse your skin, but they will also gently exfoliate it and leave your skin feeling baby soft. They contain saponins, which help to calm any redness and soothe dry, itchy skin. So oats are perfect for people dealing with things like acne, rosacea, or eczema. And if Very your skin true. is oily, the absorbent qualities in oats will help to soak up excess oil. Over time, your skin will reach a state of balance. And instead of using whole oats, I love to grind them using a blender. I just feel like it works better this way. So yeah. simply place a handful in the palm of your hand, add a little bit of water, and then mix it, and then massage this into your skin just like you would with any facial cleanser. Nah, jadi sebenarnya untuk pakai oats ini, ini I totally agree, and it's 100% safe, kecuali kamu energi sama oats. So, kalau pakai oats ini sebenarnya ada dua cara. Yang satu itu yang masih di blender tapi agak kasar gitu, jadi kalau dipakai air, dia jadi kayak hmm, menggumpal dikit and you can use it untuk membersihkan wajah kamu. Nah, yang kedua adalah so if you have babies yang uh, kulitnya sensitif banget, you can actually blenderin si oatsnya sampai jadi powder sampai halus banget and then uh, tinggal ditaruhin aja di bathtub gitu, dimasukin powdernya ke dalam bathtub. Nah, itu akan membuat si si bathtubnya itu nanti jadi kayak putih-putih susu gitu seperti itu. And then si bayinya bisa mandi di sana. And then kalau misalkan mau sedikit ada scrubnya ya tadi uh, pakai yang masih agak kasar blendernya dan itu bisa dipakai untuk rosti juga. And it's very mild, itu enggak kasar enggak apa sama sekali. Dia ada lembek-lembeknya. So um, it's very gentle and it's cleansing for your body. Kalau misalkan if you feel that it's too dry, kalau kamu kulitnya kering, actually you can add a few drops of oil di dalam powdernya. Nah, lalu boleh dipakai. Itu juga works well. Interesting. Next And then rinse everything off and move on to the next step, which is toning the skin. One of my go-to natural toners is using apple cider vinegar mixed with water. No matter what skin type you have. Okay, jadi the second step itu adalah toner yang menggunakan ACV. Okay, for me, personally, I don't recommend this. Pertama, baunya nggak enak banget, guys. Aku pernah cobain. Um, I tried both on the face and di rambut juga I tried it. Oh my goodness, itu baunya nggak hilang berhari-hari. Kayak tidur pun kayak stress cumin baunya. Okay, that's one part. Tapi the second part yang lebih bahayanya adalah ACV itu um, pH-nya kan rendah banget ya, highly acidic. Nah, jadinya sebenarnya tuh baiknya itu kalau kita formulasi skincare aja, kita harus memastikan pH-nya. Dan kita juga memastikan dosis-dosisnya. Sedangkan kalau misalkan DIY gini kan kita tuang aja kan. We don't know for sure tambahin air sedikit berapa berapa sendok. It, it's hard. Jadi I, I I don't recommend I don't recommend this unfortunately. Sebenarnya kalau misalkan kalian mau pakai toner, mau yang natural dan yang gampang, pakai aja rose water misalkan. Itu jauh better daripada ini. Or even bikin aja air teh seduh aja misalkan green tea or chamomile tea atau whatever tea lah teh bunga atau apa diseduh aja lalu dipakai um, sebagai toner. Itu lebih highly recommended daripada si ACV ini. Alright, moving on. Apple cider vinegar helps to keep our skin's pH balanced. If you have sensitive to dry skin, you want to mix one part apple cider vinegar to four parts water. For normal combination skin, mix one part apple cider vinegar to two parts water. And if you have oily skin, mix one part apple cider vinegar to one part water. So since my skin is in between, I'm gonna do the one to two ratio. Jadi dia kasih sih kayak formulasinya kayak satu banding satu satu banding dua ada 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 gitu ya. Based on your skin type. Balik lagi, I don't recommend it karena it's highly highly acidic. Kalau misalkan 
basically ini kayak emang eksfoliasi kulit kalian it's like using um, exfoliating toner lah setiap hari gitu I, I don't moisturize. The simplest, most natural way to moisturize is by using coconut oil. Hmm. It's antibacterial, antifungal, and of course it has amazing nourishing and moisturizing. Okay, jadi step ketiganya dia adalah sebagai moisturizer menggunakan coconut oil. Nah, tentunya kalau di Indonesia coconut oil itu jadinya udah kayak minyak ya. Kalau di luar negeri, kalau dingin ya jadinya masih kayak butter. So technically, um, it's 100% okay untuk teman-teman menggunakan coconut oil to moisturize your face, your body. Um, bahkan aku kenal beberapa orang yang dari ujung kepala sampai ujung kaki cuma pakai coconut oil and their skin is absolutely gorgeous and flawless dan rambutnya juga sehat banget dan panjang dan etc etc. Nah tapi balik lagi nggak semua orang unfortunately cocok dengan coconut oil um, karena it's very hmm, kayak emang thick lumayan thick banget. Dan ini lebih cenderung cocok untuk orang yang jenis kulitnya tuh lebih kering. Banyak orang tuh yang lebih oily gitu kalau pakai coconut oil tuh mereka break out. Unfortunately, walaupun dia antibakterial dan antifungal, I know. Dan juga ada isu-isu kan coconut oil itu highly comedogenic, etc. etc. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that right now. Balik lagi, simpelnya adalah cocok-cocokan aja lah ya. Nah, opsi lain apa selain coconut oil, you can use any other oil sebenarnya. Tapi kalau bisa, gunakan oil yang sudah diproduksi untuk skincare. Yang bukan, bukan yang minyak goreng yang dipakai untuk masak gitu ya. Jangan pakai yang seperti itu. Kalau pakai coconut oil pun juga pakainya make sure extra virgin coconut oil. Um, yang VC, atau virgin coconut oil, VCO gitu. Uh, that's what I would recommend. Nah, kalau misalkan oils yang lain apa? There are a lot of natural oils kok. Kayak jojoba oil, hazelnut oil, grapeseed oil, raspberry oil, dan yang lain-lain. There's like a gazillion types of oils. Tentunya dijual juga di skindewi.com under ingredients. Uh, dan juga ada beberapa yang sudah kita launching sebagai produk juga. Nah, semua itu oils bisa dipakai tunggal as a moisturizer. Atau kalau misalkan ingin lebih exciting dikit, adventurous dikit, you can mix and match. Nah hasilnya gimana? Itu 100% oke okay kok sebagai moisturizer. Tinggal balik lagi mengenal kulit anda yang lebih jadi lebih butuhnya tuh tipe oil yang seperti apa. Then just choose your oil accordingly. Properties. Coconut oil also has antioxidants and helps restore the skin's radiance and keeps the skin looking young. And a little goes a long way. You only need a very small amount. Rub it between your fingers and apply this all over the face and down the neck. The skin will absorb it very quickly, so it won't leave your skin feeling greasy at all. Every time I do this routine, my skin feels so nourished and balanced. It's always nice to take a break from your normal skincare routine and go back to something simple and natural. So try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you all next time. Bye guys! I know that banyak orang tuh tempted to do DIY karena lebih murah, um, tapi balik lagi, Your skin is your investment. Ini kita harus pakai seumur hidupnya kita. So, might as well do it well. Treat it nicely and do it well. Pakailah skincare produk yang sudah diformulasikan dengan baik, yang sudah disampingi di testing, yang sudah dinyatakan aman oleh Bepom. Daripada capek-capek uh, DIY seperti ini, udah pakai skin daily aja. Semua bahan-bahan kita juga natural and organic, yang sudah diformulasikan, dosisnya sudah dipastikan. Daripada pusing-pusing, Beli jadi aja, oke? Okay? <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'll see you guys again.